Hi, today I'm going to show you the small pressure cooker we got, but I'm going to show you some other things. Um, we paid for the pressure cooker, and we paid for this pan up front here. The reason we did this is when you're camping or, you know, off grid, whatever, water is important. So is being able to cook. Now, you have to understand when you cook something, if you use four or five pans, that's a lot of water you're going to have to use to clean those four or five pans. Now, we got this because I can throw it on the barbecue pit or even in the coals. I can throw this in a campfire. We can use the pressure cooker on the stove, my butane stove, even a hot plate running off the generator if I have to and when you're using a pressure cooker like this never fill it up more than say two-thirds because I have seen videos where people use a small pressure cooker and they fill it up too high and it'll leak right around the rim here or come out the top overflow valve the pressure release valve everything on the back we got for free now everything here has been clean sterilized and sanitized now we got these for free and the reason we picked these up is because you can store water in them uh, Kool-Aid, juice, whatever or just use them to carry water they, they don't hold a lot but they hold enough in a situation we got this three gallon water thing for free that holds water I did clean it, sterilize it I'm going to clean it again because well right now it's just sitting uh, collecting dust and we got this little frying pan for free this is cast iron so we can put it in a campfire we can put it on a stove what we can put it in the oven that we just got so there are various uses but mainly I wanted to talk about this little pressure cooker now I'm going to show you how to open this it's really easy a lot of people think it's confusing this is a skyline um, let me flip it over here. It's a Skyline 6004. I hope you can see that because I really can't see out the screen. Now, if you have one of these or get one of these or one like it, they basically open the same way, which is really easy. Push down turn alright now you will see right here the bar that goes across is the same it's left in place do not move that you'll see little dots on the lid maybe uh, there we go here and up here now there's a little dot on this top up here that you can barely see but basically what you're doing is with this handle and with the dots, you're making a plus sign. Alright, then you take it, slide it to the back, and just lift up and out. As you can see, everything's in there. And to put it back in, you do it the same way. You put the back in first. Put the front in. Get them stationed. And then close and that's it for this um, the reason I'm talking about this is because once again if you're limited on funds you can find things for free once again I do have to season the frying pan it has been clean I do have to season it it is cast iron we got it for free we got the water jug for free we got these two little carrier things for water juice whatever soda we got those for free all I had to do is clean them up sterilize and sanitize them now this pan here we got at the garage sale we paid three dollars for it now we did spend some money on this this is the most expensive thing um, as far as cookware that we purchased uh, it was $40 I believe $45 
and you can get larger ones this is plenty big for me and my girlfriend so anyway I wanted to show that to you and once again it's easy push down turn the handles in place leave that there you'll see the dot at the bottom and you'll see a dot up top basically you just made a plus sign with the handle and the dots then move it to the back and lift the lid out front and put it in the same way once you get the lid up under the lip you make sure these handles over here the little notches and then push down and turn and that's how you close it anyway like I said I wanted to show you our new stuff we got um, we are getting prepared in case of a Biden presidential win uh, we're doing the best we can so but we did like to say we got these for free we got the pan for free the cast iron so look on Craigslist look on Facebook if you want to start preparing for something look and see what they have for free um, you can find everything from gas cans to dressers on Craigslist and Facebook and think about what you're going to need think about what you want to have in case you know these idiots in Washington do stop gas and oil production um, you're going to need water you're going to need food you're going to have to have a way to cook um, you know you're going to have to have shelter if you have a car and they stop all gas and oil production you're not going anywhere you know if your job is 10 miles away and you're driving to work every day now if they stop producing gas and oil drilling for oil which is what they said they're going to do you're going to be unemployed you're going to be stuck at home so figure what you need to do to survive and what you need to get to survive all right anyway i just want to talk about the pressure cooker and i went off on a little rant here but uh, once again check craigslist check facebook you can get all kinds of stuff for free and if you have the money buy you some type of pans that you can use in on a barbecue pit or in a fire pit anything that you can place directly in the fire works much better uh, i would not place this directly in fire because of the plastic handles but this definitely uh, the cast iron definitely so like I said, this is more or less about the uh, little crock pot here. Well, uh, pressure cooker, not crock pot, but pressure cooker. Uh, and be very careful when you use these because steam will come out here on top. So be very careful when you move it, when you cook in one of these. Anyway, that's it. I'm fixing to go. Um, anyway, I hope everybody stays safe. Hope nobody gets this virus stuff that's going around. And everyone, let me get Midnight in here, if I can see him. Midnight. Midnight. Hey. Yeah. Alright, well anyway, that's it, and everyone have a good day. Bye.